What, yep. would, what would be your biggest three takeaways putting you on the spot? Three. From three. overall learnings for yourself in this whole four-year journey. I just had to think about that. I had to write it down because <laughs> Which really, makes, it's a big question. Isn't makes it? it's fantastic question. audio and live viewing, by the way, James. Yeah, I just I was just writing it down because coaching is about having a reflective moment and really thinking about the question. Um, and that doesn't produce great audio, but but you need to do this. We all need to do it. And I was I was trying to think. Okay, what is it? What are the big three? So the number one was when uh, I talked about the twelve hour walk, right? And um, and I had a lot of things going on. You know, my mum passing away and all this stuff. And one of the biggest, actually, the, the number one thing is to trust myself more. I've learned to trust myself more. Like when I do videos to actually just put the content out there and be truthful and be open and be, oh, just be myself. So if you see me like, you see me on the podcast, I am myself. This is it. If I'm doing training, this is me. I'm not a different version. It might be like, um, no, you might tweak it a little bit because you're in a corporate environment, but you will still see the true me. I'll still be very passionate that'll be me so trust myself like put myself out there and just do it just just that's what i was really scared of when i was younger and i i've really like i've embraced that number two is identity this is really because i wanted to be a coach but i didn't believe i was a coach so i had to get the identity to be a coach so that's when i started you know because that i told the story in episode one about going to a free weekend i'm sure i mentioned that i'll have to go back a free weekend and that's how that's whole stage i'd heard about coaching and then i went on a free coaching weekend and that's what really solidified everything for me i had a book of i had anthony robbie's book in my hand unlimited power and it was power so powerful and it was about going right jose i am now a coach i am now a coach because i didn't believe it was i am now a coach i'm helping people and that's what started the identity this, this and that's one of the biggest learnings i've got so trusting myself identity the last one is belief so the reason I had a big gap, I don't even know if I told the story, but I was doing YouTube for a long time. I then stopped. I was on and off doing it. You know, I didn't have you guys at the time, right? You know, I think if I had you guys, I probably would have just continued. But I think having you guys on board with this is just helping me continue, right? You, you guys are so supportive in terms of just keep going, just keep going. And so I had a big break. And then that's when there was a, I'm going to give Evan Carmichael a big kudos for this. I was on Instagram and I told you there's this, there's this video it says you're ready you're ready just go you're ready so sometimes you wait too long to just oh I've got to do his reading I've got to do no you just got to go and start and do some of the smallest thing we talked about those one percent didn't we I think Lee you talked about it just start just do it and that and actually Evan Carmichael is the believe person if you haven't checked him out check him out on Instagram YouTube it's massive it's about belief so believing in yourself and I've done and, and you guys would remember that I passed it to Lee and Lee got Lee goes, do you know how many pages you sent me of this book to do this whole exercise? And Lee, goes, I just basically spammed Lee with pages of this book with the exercise I'd done about getting where I needed to be, right? And the last thing is that he's connected with some great people. Now I'm working with Mark Drager, right? And this is all part of this personal development, self-development. By doing this, trusting myself, having the identity, and then believing in it, those are the three things. And I'm, I'm in the, I, like, despite everything's gone, I am in the best place of my life. I'm doing the things like I, in this podcast, you know, I've lost a ton of weight doing tennis. I'm really stretching myself. I'm willing to throw myself at things which I wouldn't have done before. And those three things, trust myself, identity and belief are the three biggest takeaways since the podcast has started. Uh -huh.